Hello parents and carers. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time this afternoon just to um, explain to you where we are as a school at the moment uh, regarding the proposed return to education for nursery, reception children, children in year one and children in year six. Hopefully I'll be able to answer some of the questions that parents have raised and parents have asked me over the last week or so. And equally, just put you in the picture regarding where we are and give you an honest pricey of how I feel things will be over the next few weeks. First off to say, I think the parents and carers have done an amazing job over the last nine weeks. You've supported your children, you've helped them out, you've helped them learn, you've helped them make progress. But ultimately, you are parents and it's your job to parent. And we are teachers and educators and it's our job to teach and educate your children. Therefore, I feel from an educational standpoint, being here at school is the best, best place for your child. In terms of the information that we're getting from government at the moment, at times you know as much as I do. Uh, the information comes through quite quickly and it quite often appears at briefings quicker than it does on my desk. And as such, things are evolving and things are changing quite rapidly. Some of the timelines that we're working to here are that the government are going to let us and inform schools on the 28th of May whether the key criteria for re reopening schools is correct and is in place. And then from that point onwards, we will then be able to put our firm plans in place regarding reopening. It is highly unlikely that we will be un open on the 1st of June because I'll probably need that time to train our staff uh, to a new way of working. But it is likely to be that week. Uh, so the week beginning the 1st of June, so it might not be until the 2nd or 3rd or 4th of June, but obviously I will let parents know when I know more. Something that I think it's very important for parents to take into consideration when sending their child back to us here is that where possible, we will keep your child with their current classroom teacher and in their current classroom. However, the government are quite firm that we can keep children in groups of no greater than 15. So if a class of 20 children return, there will not be the opportunity for all 20 of those children to be in the same classroom with their teacher. So we've got some decisions that we need to make regarding groups and regarding where those children go. But it is very important that parents do realise that they, their children might not be with their classroom teacher and indeed it might affect their interactions with their peers as well. The reason being for that, as I've said, is because of the groups of 15, um, which people are calling bubbles. And, and the idea is to keep those 15 children and their adult together at all times, allowing very, very little interaction with children outside of that group and indeed adults outside of that group as well to make sure and maintain that any spread of the virus is contained very, very closely. So it will mean that lunch times and break times are different. It will mean that lunch times and break times of the children spend it in their group of 15. Social distancing is something that's been a, a topic of hot conversation within the educational community. And having young children, I know that it is almost impossible to keep them two metres away from you. Um, here at school we appreciate and we realise that and although we will be reminding the children about safe distances from adults, um, we believe it's as much about social distances as it is about good hygiene and we would ask that all parents work with their children over the next few weeks about hand washing, which I'm sure you're doing anyway, but also that school will feel slightly different when they return and teachers will be expecting children to keep more of a social distance from other adults as well as their peers and their friends as well but we believe that with the social distancing measures and good hygiene that we can mitigate some of the risk in terms of returning to school. We will also be having, having staggered starts to the school day and staggered ends to the school day as well so what that will mean is that we will limit strictly the amount of adults that are on our school site. We will expect children to be dropped off and collected um, very quickly and very efficiently to avoid um, unnecessary collections of adults on our school site. It may well also be the case that one day a week school finishes early to allow our staff their planning and preparation time that they would normally have during a normal week at school. 
normally another teacher would take the class group for that period of time to allow the teacher to do their necessary planning. But in the current format, that is very, very difficult because we're not meant to introduce new adults to a associated bubble of 15 children. It's also very likely that we will not be able to offer after school club and breakfast club, at least in the phased return back to school, which I know will be very inconvenient to lots of parents, for which I do apologise. But that's equally to maintain the integrity of our bubbles of children so that there isn't inappropriate mixing of children from different ages and different year groups. Now I know that brings up all a host of questions regarding siblings in other year groups and friends and family and things like that, but we are just trying to maintain the guidance that the DFE has set for us. Practical things like lunchtime um, and, and, and food at lunchtime, we're still yet to decide whether we are going to be able to offer hot school meals or whether it will be uh, a matter of parents supplying packed lunches to children. Um, in terms of school uniform, we expect our children to attend in full school uniform and we expect them to attend for the whole school day, however long that school day is. Now, as you can tell from what I'm saying to you, uh, there is a lot of uncertainty still at this point. Um, and obviously I will clarify in writing with parents things like our start times for the year groups, our end times for the year groups, who the classroom teacher will be, and also how uh, we expect children to be dropped off and collected from school. But I am just making parents and carers aware that it will be and look different, at least for the first few weeks while we find our feet and it will be quite strict in terms of social distancing of adults. And I appreciate that you are seeing this in your local community anyway, and I don't think it will be a huge adaption from what you expect when you go shopping to what you will see and expect when you are here at school. We are working very, very hard at the moment to uh, mitigate the risks um, in terms of um, spreading um, COVID um, and we are putting in place things like one-way systems within the school, ensuring that hand washing facilities are available, making sure that soft furnishings have been removed, ensuring that children don't share equipment and if any equipment is shared that it is cleaned, making sure classrooms are deep cleaned at the end of every day and a whole host of other measures to make your ch children safe at school. Can we mitigate the risk 100%? No, we can't. The same as any environment uh, at the moment. But what we can say is that we will follow the DfE guidance um, to the letter, as will the trust, uh, the Barnsdale Primary Trust, to make sure that we mitigate the risks as much as possible. Just before I let you go, I do want to say a really big thank you once again to uh, parents and carers for all the hard work that you've done over the last few months. Um, we do miss your children terribly and we really do want them back at school as soon as possible. I'd also like to thank all of the staff here at Bly who have been absolutely amazing. As you're probably aware, we have been supporting key workers and vulnerable children throughout the lockdown, which has meant that many of the staff here uh, haven't had a break since February half term and have worked weekends throughout the Easter holidays. Uh, and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of those staff who have been working really hard under some very, very difficult conditions, but who have put the children first and have supported Bly and Bly's community. I will write to you in due course and put more detail down regarding some of the things that parents are asking me, but for now, thank you.